Okay, how to change the um, heat brake, etc. on an artillery hot end. Uh, this one's an X1, but it's basically the same on all of them. Uh, first thing to do, take off the cover. Done. Then, on the next one, take off the LED. On a normal uh, X2, etc., you don't have to worry. Um, I use angle tweezers because it makes it easier. Pop out the connector, take off the front fan because you don't want to break it and it gets in the way. Fan connector there, pull out, for Mr. Connector, pull out, take away. And then what I do, I use, again, angle pliers, press down on that, and angle pliers, it's a lot easier <laughs> when you're not getting it in camera. Like that so that then gets disconnected and away now side fan off if you're just play, replacing the heat brake you don't have to do this but honestly it takes a few minutes um, and it's a lot easier if you take it all apart uh, to do everything it stops things from breaking and we do see things breaking quite a lot so that's done just place to one side pop the, the silicon off I tend to always take out the the thermistor simply because if it's out it can't get broken. Which is quite clever. Now, <laughs> tidied up earlier. You don't need to cover the block if it's your block. Obviously, I do because this is a customer's. Loosen. Loosen the nozzle. If you if you this has been um, one that's been used, heat that up while it's still on the machine and loosen it while it's on on the machine. Take off um, the the front fan so you can get into it and heat it up and loosen the nozzle when it's on the machine. If you've uh, put filament through it, otherwise you will break. You'll break it. Now um, you've got. The two securing screws there for the heat brake. At this stage, if you're just replacing the heat brake, you could just slide it out. The problem you've got is, if you're putting a bimetal or whatever in, you've got to put the new PTFE um, in, the shorter one. So it's far easier just taking it apart. It's a few seconds. And also you can double check everything, double check bearings, make sure they're okay. This is obviously brand new. Um, we're just putting a titanium heat break in for a customer. So that comes straight out, at least it should do. <laughs> yep. And because it was poorly assembled at the factory, it's all loose. That should actually be tight. Um, it's not, which is a pity because it means I have to set it all up. And to set it up, basically what you do, grab the screws out, and 
and it <laughs> yeah quite poorly done okay so grab the screws out back in the holes to align them once you've got it aligned you've got a screw here tighten that up a bit double check it goes nicely which it does that's a bit done don't forget to take them back out again by doing it this way hopefully when we assemble it you won't get any tight spots um, because you've aligned it all before you put it all together now reverse we've got that bit done let's get that out of the way now we're into this bit take that out take that out that's your cone for guiding the PTFE on this side loosen the grub screws I suggest you get some hex drivers you're going to need them on this machine um, so now that just pops out so your PTFE normally goes all the way through and down through the heat break and onto the top of a nozzle as you can see all the way through like so so in many ways that's how it's set on all metal it doesn't go all, all the way through it would sit in the top so we provide a short piece of um, tube already cut to size the correct size to go in the top so wait <laughs> As you can see, with, with its cap on, that tube is ready to fit. Job done. So you just reassemble, basically the same way, making sure that when you put these two together, uh, when you put these two together, you're careful that it all clicks together properly and that goes smoothly. Uh, it'll make the video too long if I show the whole assembly, so I won't bother this time.